Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2023, slot 2 DILR, says that there are three participants, Akhil, Bimal and Chatur. They participate in a random draw competition for five days. Every day, each participant randomly picks a ball numbered between 1 and 9. The number on the ball determines his score on that day. The total score of a participant is the sum of his scores attained in the five days. The total score of a day is the sum of the participants scored on that day. The two-day average on a day except on day one is the average of the total scores of the day and of the previous day. So two-day average means total score of that day and of the previous day. For example, if the total scores on day one and day two are 25 and 20, then the two-day average on day two is calculated as 22.5. Table one gives the two-day averages for day two through five. Now, instead of finding all these values, we will use the conditions over here to solve it. Just to understand this table, it means day 1 plus day 2, the average is 15. So that means the total will be 30. Similarly, day 2 plus day 3, the total is 15.5. So the total will be 31. So no need to calculate these values. This was just for explanation. And now we will read the conditions here and fill it. Participants are ranked each day with the person having the maximum score being awarded the minimum rank 1 on that day. If there is a tie, all participants with the tied score are awarded the best possible rank. So all participants with the tied score are awarded the best available rank. So you can see that we have 2-2 two, two written over here. right? So that means these two people had the tie and Akhil and Bimal got the same score on day 3. For example, if on a day Akhil, Bimal and Chatur score 8, 7 and 7 respectively, their ranks will be 1, 2 and 2 respectively on that day. These ranks are given in table 2. <coughs> so we are given the ranks, not the points. Now some information is given that Chatur always scores in multiples of 3. His score on day 2 is the unique highest score in the competition. So we will fill a table also like this and we will find the scores and uh, like on each of the days and based on this total we will figure out the total of the three participants and use these conditions. So first of all it says Chatur scores in multiples of three. His score on day two is the unique highest score in the competition. Now unique highest score means what? <clears throat> so unique highest score will mean that no one is scoring higher than that. Now one might think that the high, unique highest score is 6, right? Possible that it is 6 or can it be 9 also? See, the first thing that comes to our mind is his score will be 3, 6 or 9, right? Unique highest could possibly be 9, right? What if it is not 9? Suppose it is uh, maximum is 6, but if you see towards the end, the uh, total is going till 17, right? So if he, even if he gets, uh, let's say he does not get uh, 6 on any of, the, because See, the total is average is 17. That means the totals are touching these ranges, right? So, someone has to score more than 5. Then only the total will become 15 or 16. So, it means that 6 cannot be that highest. Logically, we can prove that the highest will be 9 and on day 2. So, day 2, Chatur has a score of 9. It also says that his minimum score is obtained only on day 1 and his matches Akhil's score on day 4. Again, with a logic assumption, okay, logical assumption, we can say that Chatur will be 3 and Akhil on day 4 will be 3. What if we take 6? Let's just assume that his minimum is 6, right? Now, he is ranked 3rd. Just taking this case, if he is ranked 3rd, that means these two people will score more than him, okay, 8 and 7. So, the <coughs> total itself becomes 15, 21, right? First two, the average is 30. Uh, uh, total is 30, so it will become 9, it will become 0 and 0, which is not possible. So logically, we can easily figure out these things that his maximum will be 9 and minimum will be 3, given the numbers that are available with us. So no need to make cases here. Next, we are given that the total score on day 3 is the same as the total score on day 4. So day 3 and day 4, the total is same. So day 4, the average is 16, that means it is D3 plus D4. So this gives us the total on day 3 and day 4 is 16 each, right? Now we can easily fill this information. 
day 5 the total is 17 that means 34 will be the total for day 4 plus day 5 so this value is going to be 18 for day 3 the total is 15.5 uh, that means 31 so this will be 15 and 16 and day 2 it is 15 so 15 and 15 the average is 15 so one need not make equations for it one could have just used this statement to fill the data so this was a confusing thing given and some students might have got trapped into this information in fact it was very simple to fill using point number two now we will come to the third point it says Wimmel's scores are same on day one and day three so day one and day three he got same scores okay all right now we will figure out some more things okay now Bimal is scoring same on day 1 and day 3. So let us call this score as X and X. Right? On day 3, we see a tie between Akhil and Bimal. So Akhil also will get a score of X. Right? Now Akhil plus Bimal is 2X, which is even number. Okay. And this total is 16. So it should also be even. Then only we can get 16. Right. So this means this value is 6. If this is 6, the value of x is 5 and 5. Okay, so this is lemma list 5, right? Now, we are already given, anyway, even if we did not use this logic, we could have easily filled these values because we are given that uh, Chatur, the maximum is on day 2 and minimum only on day 1. So there are only 3 possible values. So rest three values are straight away 666. Six, six. So not needed that logic. If it was needed, possibly that was that was a way to crack it. Otherwise, this is simple because his minimum is on day one and maximum is on day two. So all other values will be 666. Six, six. So we get these values as 5 and 5. And uh, here we have 5. So this Akhil value is 7. Okay. 3, 6 is 9 plus 7 is 16. Now, day 2, we have 1st, 2nd and 3rd. Now, 9 he is getting. Total, we need to make 15. We need to make 6. So, 6 is either 4, 2 or 5, 1. So, Akhil is 2nd. So, Akhil can get 4 or 5. And accordingly, Bimal will get 2 or 1. Last day, the total is 18. Bimal is 1st and Akhil is 3rd. So, Bim if Bimal is 1st, we can have 7, 6, 5 also. Right? This is 6. We can have 8, 6, 4 also. Can we have 9, 6, 3? No. Why we are given that unique highest score is 9. So we cannot have 9 here. So it is 7, 6, 5 or 8, 6, 4. So Bimal will get 6 or 8 and accordingly Akhil will get sorry 7 or 8 and accordingly Akhil will get 5 or 4 in these two days in these on day 5. So this is how we will complete the table of the scores. Now let us look at the questions and answer them. What is Akhil's score on day 1? So on day 1 we can uniquely find a score as 7. Who attains the maximum total score? Now some students while attempting such questions think that Akhil and Bimal the totals I mean the values are not known. So uh, we cannot determine but check the totals. So if we have Chatur is total is 30. Right, Akhil, if you take the maximum possible, that is 12, 17, 20, 25, max 25. And Bimal, if you take this is 5, 7, okay, uh, 12, 17, 17 plus 8, 25. And if we see uh, Bimal, Bimal is 7, 7 plus 5, 12, 19, 8, 27. So max Bimal can attain is 27. So no one can match the total of Chatur. What is the minimum possible total score of Bimal? So minimum we will take this and this. So 8 and on 2 days we have 10 and 17. 17 plus 8, 25. Okay. If the total score of Bimal is a multiple of 3. So basically Bimal the score range is 25 to 27 and Akhil the range is 23 to 25. Okay. So that is the range for these two people. So, we are given that Bimal's total is a multiple of 3. So, Bimal is scoring 27. On that occasion, Akhil will score 23. That is his least score. His score on day 2. So, if he is scoring least, he will score 4 on day 2. 
if akhil attains a total of 24 what is total score of vimal so the total score of these two people is 50 because we can use this result also 32 18 50 30 80 right their total is 80 chatur is 50 so a plus b is equal to 50 that we know of so a is 24 that means bimal will score have a total score of 26 and that will be the answer to this question 